there's a very useful function in Samplitude and it's called Edit Root VIP. And I'm going to show you how I used it when I was working on this song a while back. As you can see, it's quite a large arrangement with 54 audio tracks, with quite a few buses and auxiliaries. As the individual instrument groups were routed to buses, I decided to bounce down these buses and import them into a brand new VIP. This is when I discovered the Edit Root VIP function. When you bounce down audio objects in Samplitude, the project from where the resultant WAV file originated is known as the Root VIP. Providing that Root VIP is still on your hard drive, you can edit the bounced file or stem by using the Edit Root VIP option. The changes are then written back into the bounced file for further use. As you can see, these are the individual buses here. The first thing I do is select the kit bus and press solo, then press B on the keyboard to open the track bouncing dialog box. There it is. So I'm selecting 32-bit float stereo and generating options are only a wave project. Also, I'm going to select from VIP start to last object end. I've already created a folder called bounce, so I'm going to name that file kit press OK and now that bus is going to be rendered. So that's the kit bounced and it opens up in a new window. OK, I'll close that window. Unsolo the kit bus and now I'm going to solo the guitar bus. Hit B on the keyboard to open the track bouncing dialog. Same setting as before and name that track guitar. Keyboard shortcuts may vary depending on how they've been set up. I use B for bouncing myself. So there's the WAV file. Unsolo the guitar bus. So now I'm going to select BV bus. This is backing vocals, but I've actually bounced the lead vocal to this as well, which will be part of the demonstration to show you how to use root VIP. So I've named that. Next is Percussion Bus, save it to the Bounce folder. Also I've bounced down the strings as well, there they are. That's good. Unsolo the string bus, solo the pads, same again. And last but not least, bass bus. Bounce that down finally. So that's all the bouncing done. Let's go to the overview of the project. And now I'm going to save this project. I'm going to delete all the unneeded tracks from this VIP. What I'm doing is selecting the individual folders and just pressing Alt Delete on the keyboard, which is a hotkey I've set up for this purpose. When I've finished removing all the unneeded tracks, I can then import the bounced wave objects and save it as a new VIP. And I'll still have the original markers intact, which is useful for navigating, I find. I'll get rid of the buses as well, so Next thing to do is to create some new tracks, so I'll expand that downwards. I have a hotkey control tab for creating new tracks. Now I'm going to import the bounced WAV files. When you're importing WAV files, it's important to have the play cursor in the exact position you want the WAV file to start. So in this case, I've set it to bar one. So I'm pressing W to open the Open Audio File dialog box and I can import the bounced stereo WAV files. Now I'm going to import the individual WAV files. So it's pads. You can click on the Options button there and define how you're going to import these. You can do multiple selections if you want to. But in this case I'm just going to import them individually. 
I need to add one more track. So finally it will be kit and that's everything imported into a new VIP. So now we have a much more compact VIP. So after doing all these bounces, the possible scenario may arise that one of the bounces is not quite how you want it. So in this case, I'm going to select chorus one of the vocals and solo it. Dancing the lights with the seven stars. So maybe I want to do a slightly different mix and in this case, remove the lead vocal, but keep the backing vocals in for this particular chorus. So I'm going to right click on the object and select Edit Root VIP. And you'll notice that the original Root VIP is now opening. There it is. I'm going to solo the vocal bus and go to the chorus, expand that. Dancing the lights with the seven stars. Okay, so I'm going to mute the lead vocal there and just leave the backing vocal for that chorus. With the seven stars. So I'll go to the overview again. Need to re solo the bus to enable all the vocals to go to that bus correctly. Now I'm going to save the project. So after saving the project, you automatically get a file dialog box asking if I want to write the changes back to the file BV wave, which I want to do. So I select and click on bouncing. So this will write those changes into the vocal file of the new VIP I've just created. All these files are being rendered at 32 bit float. This gives us extra headroom for further processing, so it's always a good idea to render them as high as possible. So that's done. I'm going to close the root VIP. So as you can hear, the lead vocal is gone and we have just the backing vocal. So that's just one example of how you can use the edit root VIP function in Samplitude. The important thing to remember is that the bounces must originate from the root VIP. If they don't, the option will be greyed out in the menu. Anyway, I think I've covered all the things I wanted to show you on this subject. I hope you found that useful. So until next time, I'll say goodbye for now. Goodbye. <laughs>